Welcome back to a new video. In this video we are going to create a simple neural network. This video is going to be one of the videos that I will be adding into the deep learning with PyTorch series. You can reach to that playlist from the cards of this video. Let's start coding. We are going to start by importing the libraries that we are going to use. I'm going to import torch. I'm going to import torch.neuronetwork as neural network and after that I'm going to say import torch.optimizer as optim in the end I'm going to say import numpy as np and I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt now we are going to create a simple data set I'm going to create x and y by my hand I'm going to say for x it's going to be numpy.random.random101 and for the y side I'm going to say 3 times x plus 2 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by numpy.random.random101 so let's call our x in here for seeing what it looks like great we have values between 0 and 1 and I'm just going to call the y and here we can see the created target so it seems great we are going to use this data set so I'm just going to create a quick scatter plot for showing you how it looks I'm going to say plt.scatter and it's going to be like x and y so we have a straight line like this we are going to fit our neural network into this line so it's going to be something like linear regression and it's going to be a good practice I believe that so for the first step we are going to do we will convert the data to PyTorch tensors so I'm going to say x tensor is going to be torch from numpy actually we have a method like that for transforming numpy arrays so let me quickly check the type of the x and y you are going to see that they are both numpy arrays like this I'm just going to call the y2 and they are same so we can use from numpy and then I'm going to say float like this and for the y I'm going to make the same thing y tensor is going to be torch dot from numpy y and I'm going to say float after that our neural network will be a simple one with just one linear layer let's define a neural network class using PyTorch neural network module so I will say class and I'm going to call it like simple neural network and I will use actually it's simple I will use an dot module and after that I'm going to say define in it and I will say self then I'm going to say super simple and then and self and then I'm going to say in it like this and after that I'm going to say I'm going to create my layer like self.linear is going to be neural network linear one and one great also we are going to define a function as forward it's going to be the forward method self and x and we are going to say return self.linear x great now let's create an instance of our neural network we will also set up the loss function which will be mean squared error and we are going to set the optimizer which will be stochastic gradient descent with a learning rate of 0 0.01 so I'm just going to create the instance like model is going to be simple neural network and then I'm going to say criterion is going to be neural network that mean squared error loss and after that I'm going to set the optimizer like it's going to be optimizer dot stochastic gradient descent I will say model dot parameters after that and I'm going to set the learning rate as 0 0.01 as we just talked about it now comes the exciting part training our neural network we will look through the data for a certain number of epochs calculate predictions compute the loss and perform back propagation to optimize the model let's train it for thousand epochs in this example so I'm going to set the epochs as thousand and then I'm going to say for epoch in range epochs 
I will say Y predictions is going to be model X tensor. Also, we can name it like forward pass. Let me just write them for you to remember. And then we are going to calculate the loss. So let's say like calculate loss and it's going to be loss. We'll call criterion and we'll give Y predictions and Y tensor. And after that, we are going to say backward pass and optimization. So the next step is going to be optimizer that zero gradients like this. Remember that we are still in a loop, so we are going to do this for all epochs. And I'm going to say loss backward like this. And then I'm going to say optimizer dot step. Great. So at the end, I'm going to say if epoch plus one modulo 100 accused to zero, then print. It's going to be an F string. I'm going to give the epoch like this and I will say epoch like this plus one. And then I will say divided by epochs. And after that, we are going to say loss and loss is going to be loss dot item. And let's show it like for fl plotting like this. It seems great. So, so let's train our neural network right now. It's ready. So here it is. So as we can see, we have forward pass, we calculate the loss and we backward pass and do the optimization. Great. At the end, we just print the epoch number and the loss on that epoch. So we can change this to 10,000 and rerun this. We are going to see that it's going to be more bigger than the other one and we can just change this to like let's say 100,000 and we will see that it's going to be bigger again just I need to scroll it's training we can see that we are at the same loss so I think there's no point training this to more and I also want to show you that we can just make this 200 and you will see the result with the 200 right now and I'm just going to do thousand again and keep it like that like this great so i'm just going to talk about that we have implemented a simple neural network from scratch using pytorch now that our neural network is trained let's test it with a sample input we'll use the value of 0 point let's say 8 as an example so let's just write it like 0 0.8 it's going to be our example Keep in mind that in a real-world scenario, you would use unseen data for testing. Let's see how well our model predicts the output. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say with torch dot no gradient, and I'm going to say test x is going to be torch dot tensor, and I'm going just going to create a tensor like this, and then I'm going to say float. It's our example test input. So um, after that, I'm going to say predicted Y is going to be model test X. And then I'm going to print something like predicted value for input. And I'm going to give test X that item. And then what I'm going to do is at the end, I'm just going to say predicted y that item great we get our output from our input for this x this is the y we get great thanks for watching the video i'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and python programming you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i shared a free data science bootcamp where i teach python pandas numpy matplotlib plotly seaborn and scikit-learn with three projects. The video is about seven hours and it's completely free. You can just reach to that video from the cards of this video or the link in the description.